Today we've been chowing down on all kinds of food science, so let's check out what Dr Joel is cooking up. Science helps us see where our eyes can't. So today I'm going to show you a DIY that will let us see inside an egg without cracking the shell. What? Eggshells are made out of calcium carbonate and that means they are very, very strong. It's almost impossible to break an egg with just one hand. That's because calcium carbonate is the same thing that seashells and even snail shells are made out of. Fortunately, we can use some chemistry to help remove the shell and leave the rest of the egg intact. You are going to need for this DIY an egg, a jar, some other container, and some white vinegar. Now, white vinegar is mostly water plus acetic acid. And it's that acid that is going to react with my eggshell and dissolve it. So I'm going to take my egg, put it into my jar, and cover it with vinegar. Straight away, you can see this chemical reaction taking place. The acid in the vinegar is reacting with the calcium carbonate of the shell and producing a gas, carbon dioxide. That'll take about 24 hours for all of the shell to react. So I'm going to seal it up and leave it and come back tomorrow. It's been 24 hours and I think my egg is ready. I'm gonna have a look. Oh, look at this. The shell of my egg has completely dissolved, leaving this membrane of egg that is actually quite springy. It's soft on the outside. Notice also, this egg is bigger than it started. And that's because this membrane has been inflated to a process called osmosis. Osmosis is the spontaneous movement of water or other liquids through a semi-permeable membrane. So that water has been drawn inside and inflated it like a water balloon. But here's the best part of my egg. Because it is now inflated, I can actually bounce it. Let's have a look. Check this out. The egg is bouncy. Your mission at home is to calculate what height you can safely drop a shellless egg from. This is going to be one for experimenting. That was just a taste, but if you want to see the entire menu of our food science episode, then click the link below.